Nobody knows the actual date of Christ's birth, but it certainly wasn't the 25th of December. This date was chosen because it was right in the middle of the age-old midwinter pagan festivities, a time of feasting, drinking, dancing and gift-giving. Rather than trying to stamp out the ancient rituals, the early Christian church took over them and succeeded in making the birth of Christ the main focus. So I'm going to start with uh, the holly and the ivy. In some form or other, this carol probably dates back over a thousand years. And despite its pagan imagery, it somehow survived through the strict Protestant years of the 17th century. Because holly remains green and produces red berries, even in winter, it was a pagan symbol of immortality. And in ancient times, it was hung inside the house to bring good luck and long life to the occupants. The holly and the ivy. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. For the rising of the sun, the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a blossom as white as lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our sweet Saviour. The holly bears a berry as red as any blood, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do poor sinners good. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. The holly and the ivy now both are full well grown Of all the trees that are in the wood the holly bears the crown Oh the rising of the sun and the running of the deer The playing of the merry organ sweet singing in the choir Thank you